Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you how I recreated Kim Kardashian West's Met Gala wet makeup look and I've added my own little spin to it as you'll see throughout the tutorial but if you would like to see how I recreated this and added my own little spin then stay tuned. So starting with brows, I'm going to go in with Anastasia Dipper Pomade. I don't want them to be too thick today. I want them to be nice and light, just like Kim's. They weren't like harsh Instagram, really bold brows. They were just nice and light and there. So I'm just taking a Revlon spoolie and I'm going to brush through the brows, making sure that they're all pointing up. Taking my Spectrum A14 brush, I'm just going to gently feather through some of this product. I really don't want them bold, so I'm going to go lightly. So a little trick that I have is when you went for the first time to fill in under here just at the front of the brow, use as little as product as possible, like hardly any. I am just going to gently brush up. Imagine this is a spoolie, so I'm brushing up. Half and half, you can see that one of the brows is more filled in, so it just goes to show that when you start off a little lighter, you can really just see it just takes a little minute for your eyes to adjust. There we go, nice and close as always. So I'm going to go ahead and fill them in. Okay, now the brows are lightly filled in. It might not look good, but they are. They're lightly filled in. I'm going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape and carve them out. Taking my Real Techniques Medical Sponge, I'm just going to make sure and diffuse the edges. Blend all over this and then go in with the setting powder. I have to keep looking down but I'm just taking a really fluffy brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to stipple this all over the eye and I'm also going to go into the eyebrow. This is going to help set that brow pomade. So continuing with the brows, I'm going to be taking Brow Wiz by Anastasia. This is in the shade Dark Brown. The pomade was in the shade Taupe. And the reason I like to go in with a darker brow pencil is because this is for fine detail. This is what I use it for. Now that I can see the brow's rough shape, I can go in and just add fine details. Again, going really, really lightly with this. I don't want to add too much. Later on, I will be going in with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel just to bring some life back to those brows. I kind of feel like they look very dusty and, you know, their life is gone from them right now, but it will come back. So bear with me. First palette I'm going to be using is the Lunar Beauty palette. Look how big this is. Wow. So guys, that completes today's look. We're not going for a lip. I'm just kidding. So this is what the inside looks like and today we're just going to be sticking with the browns and blacks. So I just feel like these, these browns and blacks are like no other. They're so pigmented. So I'm going to go in really, really lightly with them. So I'm just taking a really fluffy Morphe brush and I'm going to be dipping into the shade Thickening and I'm going to be blending that through my crease. Another cool tip is, in order to make your brow bone really pop, you'll notice that I blend shadow almost touching the tail right here and almost touching the brow bone right here. This is really going to help your brow bone right here. You'll notice that that part doesn't have any shadow and it's really going to help it pop so that when you apply highlight or not, you know, it's popping like that, it's really going to stand out. I'm going to go in with Mug, but I'm just pressing once. I can already tell this, this one's going to be absolutely crazy. Moving to a smaller brush, I'm just going to dip back into Mug and place this right in the inner corner. Leaving the middle portion of the eye completely bare, I'm just going to gently bring this shade all the way through the crease. And now I'm going to go in with the shade Shady. I'm actually taking that on a brow brush by Rude Techniques and I'm going to be taking this all the way along the lash line. I'm just going to be taking this little builder brush by Morphe and I'm going to be smudging this as much as possible. So I'm dipping back into the shade Mug and mixing it with Shady. So it will make so much more sense when the lashes are on but I'm going to zoom you guys back out and show you the middle shade that I'm going to be applying. I'm going to go in with this palette here. This is huge. This is by OPV. This is the Ocean palette. I mean look how big this is. Look at the size of these pans. This is bigger than my whole eye. This shade is called Treasure and I'm going to be placing that right in the middle of the eye. I'm going to take a really fluffy brush again by Morphe and I'm going to be spraying it with the Anastasia Dewey set.
So just going back into that Life's a Drag palette, I'm going to dip into the shade Mug and I'm going to blend the edges of where the gold meets the brown. Just going back to that OPV Ocean palette, I'm going to dip into this shade right here. Let me see if you guys can see this. Whoa. I mean, oh crap. So this is like a glitter formula and it's stunning. It's like micro glitter so it's not like chunky. It works just like a shadow and I'm going to be placing that just over the gold that's already there. Moving on to the face, I'm going to be taking, this is the Pure Light Primer by L'Oreal Paris and it's like, it's kind of very milky like I'm going to show you guys. It's, it's like a highlighter. Look at that. Doesn't that look crazy? So I'm going to apply this all over the face. You can just see by the, like, the glow in my nose that this stuff is like really illuminating. That part's done and priming and I'm going to be taking some of the NYX Pore Filler. I'm just going to rub this into my hands and pat this mainly on the nose and the cheek area. It's probably where the pores are more visible for me. For foundation today, I'm going to be taking the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and this is in the shade 5.5. Just to intensify this really glowy wet look, I'm going to be taking some of the Glow Mon Amour. Glow Mon Amour, yes. Last time I said Glow Armour, it's Glow Mon Amour. Um, L'Oreal Paris Glow Drops and I'm just going to take some of them and add it into the foundation. Taking my medical sponge by Real Techniques, I'm going to go ahead and apply this foundation all over. You can still see that really glowy primer underneath it. Oh, it's so stunning. As well as the Glow Drops by L'Oreal Paris. Next though, I'm going to go in with some Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to be placing it under the eyes. I'm just going in with a little. This stuff is crazy, crazy full coverage as you've seen on the eyes. But because I'm quite dark, I really don't want the under eyes to be like white. Maybe back in like 2010, but not now. It smells so, so good. That's one of the reasons why I would totally buy it again. Just because it smells incredible. So that's the only places that I'm going to be applying concealer. I'm going to leave that. You're probably wondering like, what? If you let this sit on your skin without blending it fully out, it's going to heat up, it's really going to be more manageable and by the time that I apply the contour, which is my next product, this will be ready to blend out and it'll just, it will blend so much better than it would if you're trying to pull the product when it's just fresh out of the bottle. So I'm going to go in with Contour Cosmetics contour palette. I'm probably going to dip into this shade right here and to do that I'm just going to be taking a foundation brush by Real Techniques. So just taking that foundation brush I'm then just going to coat it and I'm going to paint it on where I want it to be. So for the cheekbones I really want this to be very very intense. So I'm going to start on the temple and bring it down and for me I like the contour to be almost rounded here. I think I spoke about that in another video. So I'm going to start by pulling up right here and you can see that there's too much of a point, it's too much of a point, so I'm then just going to curve this like that and it's really going to help soften the cheek. So I'm going to stop probably midway So then taking a sculpting brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to go ahead and just gently, I don't want this to be too wet, so I'm just going to spray it and try and grab all of this stuff So you can see how easy that done that. And then moving on to under the eyes. Okay, so when you apply concealer and contour, obviously there is a huge contrast, as you guys can see from under the eyes to where the cheekbone meets. But to fix this, it leads me to my next product, which is the Chanel bronzer. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of this just on that same sculpting brush. I'm also going to take some of that bronzer and apply some just to the nose and around the mouth area and like helping to warm up the skin all over even some under the eye just to help a little bit because I get really really oily something that I just have to do is set all of my skin and I feel like so many people would leave it like this because it really works, but for me this would never ever work. So I'm just taking some of that RCMA powder on a very large fluffy brush. This is a powder brush by Revlon. And I'm going to gently stipple this all over the body. So just taking a smaller brush, I'm going to be placing some of that RCMA just where I've placed the concealer. 
I'm just going to take a domed shader brush like this, it's like a crease brush, and I'm going to gently take some of that concealer that's still wet, and I'm going to stipple this just in the inner corner. This is really going to help marry the eyeshadow to the concealer, and I feel like if you were to go in with a blending sponge, you're going to stamp over your eyeshadow and it's really going to ruin the look, and you don't want this at this point. This is the Fit Me Maybelline Powder. And I'm going to go in just a bit, again, with a large fluffy brush and I'm going to set the entire face. Just to prevent that white cast from happening under the eyes or the chin, I'm also just going to stipple over that RCMA powder that we already laid down with some more of the Fit Me powder. So as if that wasn't enough powder, I'm going to go in with more and we are moving on to bronze in the face. So even though I did go in with the contour palette and the Chanel bronzer, I really want to go in just to intensify that even more with some Benefit Hoola bronzer. Just taking on a sloped contour brush, I'm going to dip into Hoola. For blush today, I'm going to be taking a different palette. This is what it looks like. This is a Tarte Eye and Cheek palette. This is what the inside looks like. It's six eyeshadows and then a gorgeous blush shade. I'm going to be taking that on a blush brush by Revlon. And I'm going to be stippling this because you guys know I do not swipe blush. I always stipple. And I'm going to be putting this just on the high points of the cheek. So taking an Ella Masca highlighter, this is what it looks like. It's called OMG. I'm going to be taking this on a very, very large fluffy brush, just like this, and I'm going to be just dusting lightly and applying this almost all over, almost, not quite, but almost, just bringing some life back to where we put so much powder. I'm going to leave anything just below the cheeks, I don't want any shine there, but I'm going to be applying this, just a light dusting all over the body. So Kim Kardashian's look was inspired by the typical California girl or boy coming out of the water and dripping wet. So using this highlighter just helps to bring back the life. I want to look like the California girl slash boy. I don't want to look like the sand. I really want this body to look very, very wet. I have a couple of scratches that just will not cover, thanks to my kitten. But I want it to be very, very wet looking. So I'm going to be taking this product here. This is by W7 Life's a Beach Collection. I used their bronzer in my last video, which I will link below. And it will be on the screen at the end of the video anyway. So if you just wait till the end, you can watch that one next. A little shameless self-promotion there. This is in the shade Party Princess Pearl, which is obviously named after me. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my hand, like this, a little bit, a little bit. I don't know why I tried to do that there when obviously I was holding something. So this is actually a buffing brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to gently take some of that and start applying it to the body. In my vlog, I took you guys to a shop called Primark, which is a UK brand, and I got this product. So this right here, hmm, oh my god, I actually got two products from there that I'm going to be showing you guys. So I got this one right here, which is an illuminating glow drop, and then they also brought out a Disney Aladdin collection. What I've done is I took some of these drops and I actually dropped them into this product right here. To start with, I'm actually just going to take in some of these drops and I'm going to show you guys these in action. I'm going to drop some onto the shoulder, just a little bit, and some kind of all over. So I'm then just going to stipple this. Oh my god, oh my god. So now that the body's looking very, very wet and very glowy, I'm going to go in and add some definition to it. I just don't want it to be like one solid colour. This is Anastasia's Aurora Glow Kit. <gasps> oh no, my god, oh my god. <laughs> Do you guys see that? So Lyra is a peach glow with a pink reflex and oh, I love this shade. So I'm going to be applying it right here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I don't know what's happening, but I just hit pan on Lyra. <laughs> what kind of day is this? And obviously it's time to highlight face, so I'm going to take some more. Spray that. I'm obviously very excited about using this palette. It's actually one of my most favourite palettes in the whole world. 
I'm just going to dip back into lighter, dust any off, and I'm going because I have wet the brush, I'm going to stipple the product on, so I'm just going to gently like place it on, like this. Oh god. Wow. Goodness, do you guys see that? Look at that. Look at how like glowy this is. So just to finish the under eye, I'm going to be dipping back into that Life's a Drag palette, taking mud and stippling it all the way along the lower lash line. So just taking a really small blending brush, I'm going to dip into Sickening and blend Mug out because it's very very intense looking right now. So I think the inspiration behind Kim's eye look was probably like when the sun hits the water, so like a nighttime setting. So the dark parts, the brown is very much like the the trees, everything in the background, and then the gold is like the horizon, you know, setting on the water. So I feel like that would then carry into the rest of the eyes. Just spread some of that dewy set on a flat surface, and I'm going to take some more of Treasure, and I'm going to bring it just underneath the eye, just so that that halo faded water look can continue down. So if you guys remember, I lined the top lash line with Shady from the Life's a Drag palette. So now I'm going to go in and line that waterline up the top and the bottom using the Amazon Clay Liner by Tarte. I'm going to do it off camera just because I don't feel like it's safe to do it on camera while holding something that's quite heavy and it's just awkward. So I'll be right back. So when I was lining, I actually just left right above where this little miniature halo just below the eye is just because I feel like if I was to go and line all along the waterline then it would completely ruin the illusion that it's connected. Just to add a tiny little bit extra to the eyes, I, this was not in Kim's look but for me I just want to add a tiny little bit more sparkle to that gold eye of the NYX glitter in the shade gold and I'm going to take some of the paint and glow glitter glue. I'm just taking a Spectrum A07 brush and I'm going to take some of that glitter glue. So then just applying some of that just randomly on the eye. Mainly concentrating probably at lower to the lash line so that the sparkles can diffuse up. I'm going to pick up some of the sparkles in the brush and randomly just place them on. Okay so this is just the look that the glitter has given. It's a very very sparkly just a little bit extra glam. I just really want this to be as wet looking as possible and I feel like with the glitter it's really going to help bounce the light off, it's going to make it look more sparkly, more wet. So lashes that I'm going to be using today are by Tanya Wire Cosmetics. These ones are called Stockholm and I'm going to be applying them using my favourite lash glue, Lash Lock by Glad Lash. That is so hard to say. Last but not least, I just want to go in and add a little something different to the inner corner. I really want to use this palette. This is one that Kendall gave me. This is the Colourpop It's My Pleasure palette. So I'm just going to take a Morphe 138 bullet brush, dip into that middle shade and this is so iridescent and sparkly. I'm actually just going to glow the inner corner with this lilac just so that it matches the hair. Just to finish off the eyes, I'm going to dip back into the Anastasia Glow Cut. Still can't show you because it's still broken, of course. It didn't change in the last like eight minutes. I'm going to then just glow the brow bone. So just to finish off the lashes, I'm going to go back in with that Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte and I'm going to apply some to the bottom lashes. Now applying some Anastasia Brow Gel, I'm going to bring these brows to life. Moving on to lips, I'm outlining using Revlon Lip Liner and Nude. Now that we have the shape with over outlining, I'm going to go in with a Toast by Anastasia. So I just feel like that's still like a little bit dark, so I'm going to go in with a Stripped and I'm going to place this right in the middle, right in the centre of the lips and then blend it out. Well guys, that completes today's tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun filming this. I felt like I've added my own little twist into 
a really really gorgeous makeup look. If you did enjoy this video then please give it a huge thumbs up as well as comment down below let me know your opinion let me know your thoughts and also if you haven't yet remember to subscribe it would mean everything to me I would love for you to be a part of my new family on YouTube. Also if you hit that subscribe button it means that you won't miss another video from me and if you hit that tiny little bell button it means you'll get a notification from me as soon as the new video goes up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I have all the little like sparkles which by the way hair gems are coming back mark my words just saying.